Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, same night as the pour before, which was all in my normal colors and it was asked to do those colors on a tile by somebody. And I do those colors all the time, you guys. So let's switch it up a little bit. So my puddle is huge for one. Um, and it is just a scoop up of basically everything I used in the last puddle and pour. So we're just going to ump it up. Ump it. Ump it is a new technical term, you guys. If you don't know, it means scoop it all in the middle so that we're back to having a pillow. Ump it. Ump it up. Yeah, you pour. You're going to learn lots with me tonight, you guys. <laughs> so let's pick some different colors. Ooh. I'm going to use some of the similar, some of the same. So this is my Amsterdam white mixed with Decor Satin Enamel. A little bit, it's about 25% Satin Enamel and 75% Amsterdam. I'm looking at my colors here thinking, hmm, now what? So I put Clonacridone in everything, so I'm going to try not to. So this is the same acrylic paint that I used in the last pour. This is a, it was a tanny brown color and it was super boring. So I added a little bit of quinacridone nickel azo gold. And now it's just this really pretty kind of a brass color, I guess. And we're going to stick to some sparkles. This is the automotive. This is, what's that? Amaretto. Another nice, just a beautiful copper color. And then, let's find some new sticks, you guys. So this is Paleo. Uh, it's called Red Blue. I, I don't know why, because it's as pink as pink as the day is long. But that's what they call it, so that's what we're calling it. Paleo Red Blue. This is TLP Brulee. Actually, that's a lie. That's ball gowned. And this is now Brulee. And then we're going to get just crazy. So this is the acrylic brand. There's no sense showing you the label because you cannot see. But this is fuchsia. I'm going to use it straight out of the bottle. I don't mix it with any pouring medium. I use it straight up. And then this is the same acrylic brand. This is their neon pink. So I've used these brands of paints quite frequently. Um, and they're just fine, especially on these tiles and smaller pieces and I have actually used them on some bigger pieces. I have no problem with them whatsoever. Okay, black cell mix my friends. And then we're going to blow this out. All right, here we go. All right, well, we got a lot of pink going on there. So we're gonna pop this aside. And then we're gonna flood a, my standard size four by 16 tile. It was super fun. I did a quite a large oval canvas for a Christmas gift. And it was super fun to paint on canvas again. Um, yeah, it was. I got some goo on this. Just excuse me while I scrape off the bits I missed. All right, let's flood this. We're going to flood again with black. I bought two gallons of the black onyx, and so everything I pour for the next little while may be on a black base. Same eggshell. Same ridiculously thick, like molasses, my tar in a jar. All 
All right, look at this color. Yowza. All right, so we're going to just do the same as always. Scoop and transfer. We're going to do lots of wiggly hand movements because underneath of this, in our original bloom base, is kind of variations of grays and whites. So each time you turn your hand, you're exposing what's underneath. So it's going to give us a little bit of, hopefully, some contrast in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to scoop up. And I'm going to bring you guys back down. I can only do this in one direction. How stupid as that sounds, but I can. Okay, same thing. Turn. Turn. I actually might go up this one more time, you guys. And I'm going to come in right here and I'm going to push really hard and just... Okay, I blew the middle of it. All right, well, we got to fix that now. The beauty of acrylic pouring, you can just add to it. I got a big hair in there. I just felt it move. Holy moly, you guys, that's pretty great. So I think we're just going to do a little bit of, just kind of break this up a tiny bit. Oh, well, look at that. That was perfect. I got the hair. All right, let's spin it. Whew. Right, 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 you guys. Tip you on your end here. So I might do the same as I've been doing. I've been working in layers where I tip a lot of this off and then I add to it. So this just becomes the layer underneath, as pretty as it is. So I'm going to really, really stretch a lot of this off. Right to about there. And then we're going to build on that. I'm going to scoop some of this paint right back.
back onto this tile. So we're going to use all of this paint. I know it. it's an incredibly wasteful, not really wasteful because I do try to save all mine and I just scoop it back into my save for later cup. But for this painting, we're just scooping it right back on the tile. And then we're going to put hopefully a lighter, a lighter bit. I forgot my technical term that I used last puddle. All right, now what? Bubble. Okay, let's put some more white back in. Let's put lots of white in. Oh, mom, 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 do we stick with pinks or what do we do here, you guys? Okay, let's do the acrylic brand fuchsia. Straight up. We'll do the same colors in a different order. This was Brule. Actually, let's let's mix it up. This is Payne's Gray, Liquitex Payne's Gray. And there's this pinky blue, whatever color they call it, red blue. Black cell mix. And again, the blowout. Okay, I gave it a couple extra little puffs there just to try to expose a little bit more of this white from underneath. I think that worked out okay. All right, let's do some more picking up. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit because I have way, way, way too much base under there for my bloom. I'll get rid of some of it. Here we go. Turn you guys around, move you back over. Same thing. touchdown and we're going to put one more in here it's going to be completely full coverage no negative space it's going to come in over here So this is definitely going to go into my save for later. So we still have a ton of base paint left. 
All right, you guys, let's do this. I'm actually okay with this just like this, but I'm pretty sure I need to move a little bit more paint. Not much. One more. I think we're done again, you guys. So I like all the weird little lines that we got from when we, when we, Deposited our paint. I just touched down along the way. So that's what creates this fun little pattern. I wish this wasn't quite as white. But it's all in all, it's pretty fun. It's pretty bright. So I'm going to lose you for a second and then I'll bring you down. Okay. My instinct tells me to add something there, but I know if I do, I'm going to lose this and I'm going to wreck it. And I that's quite interesting and quite pretty. So it might be something that it's worthwhile leaving. If I absolutely hate the white later, I can just go back in with just a really light wash of paint and just soften that. I don't hate it. I absolutely do not hate it, but it's a little bit stark. All right, let's get you down. Okay, I'm gonna put you on hold for just a second. Okay guys, we're back. And if you don't like pink, you're not gonna like this because there's definitely, it's definitely pink. So I'm gonna hit the focus lock, same as always, and then we'll take a closer look at some of these funky little patterns. Yeah, see, it didn't change very much. <laughs> That's the colors it is. All right, let's go. Oh, focus, focus. So it has some really pretty little areas um this i like all these wispy little edges for sure and i really really like this section right in here so this is what i was saying when i was tipping my hand and depositing my paint i just kept touching down with my card and it just creates a really interesting effect this is this is you can see closer now this is the white that I'm not 100% convinced I like this splotch, but I will go back in when it dries and just maybe give it a slight wash just to soften it. Yeah, don't, don't scrap things because you can always go back in with a brush and just fix them up. All right, my friends, thank you so much for pouring with me in this loud and proud moment. Um, I might move on to greens. I'm trying to get not out of my comfort zone, but I pour a lot in the quinacridones and earthy colors, so it's super, super fun to pour something bright. All right, guys, take care. We'll talk soon.